by pressing the launch button. Now, a video depicting the salient features of the project will be played. India and Nepal enjoy a long-standing relationship which is rooted in its people-to-people -people connectivity, leading to shared growth of the two countries. This has been further strengthened under the visionary leadership of Prime Minister Modi, taking our bilateral ties to the next level, including construction of Motihari Amlek Ganj pipeline, integrated check posts at Biratnagar and Bir Ganj, road infrastructure, post-earthquake reconstruction projects and many more initiatives. This time, it is getting even more stronger with the inauguration of cross-border passenger rail services between Jayanagar in India and Kurtha in Nepal. This rail line will connect Nepal with all major cities of India through railway via Jayanagar in India. This is the first cross-border, broad-gauge rail project between India and Nepal and the first passenger rail service between the two countries since passenger rail services halted in 2014 for upgradation of rail infrastructure. The key highlight of this integrated rail infrastructure project is to convert the old narrow-gauge railway track to broad-gauge and further extend it to Badibas in Nepal. The project is being built under Government of India grant assistance of 876.8 crore Nepalese rupees and is being designed, planned and executed by Aircon International Limited. The operationalization of the passenger rail services on the section are being undertaken by Nepal Railway Company with the demo set procured by Nepali side through an arrangement with Konkan Railway Corporation Limited. The rail section connects the historic city of Janakpur in Nepal with sweet heartwarming Mathli tradition of Madhubani in India and will further boost people-to-people -people linkages, which is the core of the India-Nepal relationship. This rail project stands as a perfect example of bilateral partnership and cooperation between India and Nepal as part of Neighbourhood First Policy, envisioned by Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. Now, I request both the Prime Ministers to flag off the inaugural run of the cross-border passenger train service. Next, we have the inauguration of the 90 kilometer long 132 kV Solu corridor transmission line built with the Indian line of credit at a cost of rupees 200 crores. I request both the Prime Ministers to jointly unveil the e plaque for the project by pressing the launch button. of India. The Solu Corridor connects relatively remote Solukhumbu, Khotang and Okaldhunga districts of Nepal with the national electricity grid. It will evacuate electricity from hydro projects in these areas into the national grid and also supply the rural electrification networks. As one of Nepal's iconic infrastructure projects, Solu Corridor is a yet another symbol of India's commitment to the development partnership with Nepal as part of the Neighbourhood First policy. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, 
I now request both the Prime Ministers to jointly launch the rupee card in Nepal by pressing the launch button. As close neighbors, India and Nepal share unique ties of friendship and cooperation characterized by an open border and deep-rooted people-to-people contacts. Rupee, the first global card payment network from India, has financially empowered more than 70 crore Indians from all sections of the society. Through its affordability, convenience of use and wide acceptance, Rupee has already become a global brand under the leadership of Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. The Nepal SBI Bank with support from Nepal Rashtra Bank is now making Rupee cards functional on all Nepal SBI points of sale machines in Nepal. 1400 such machines are present in major locations across Nepal, including iconic sites such as Pashupati Nath, Lumbini, Janakpur, Manakamna etc. The launch of Rupee in Nepal would be a milestone in bilateral and regional financial connectivity. It will facilitate tourism into Nepal, bring in foreign exchange and strengthen people-to-people -people linkages. It will also make travelling easier for Indian tourists and pilgrims. Rupee launch in Nepal is yet another symbol of the priority attached by India to the development of India's neighbourhood, captured under India's Neighbourhood First policy. Coming up next, we will witness a video clip on the progress in construction of 132 health facilities in Nepal undertaken with the US dollar 50 million in post-Earth reconstruction grant assistance. The Gorkha earthquake of 2015 in Nepal impacted lives of millions of people and caused a wide-scale damage to property and public infrastructures. To supplement the efforts of Government of Nepal in the post-earthquake reconstruction, Government of India committed 1 billion US dollars comprising of 250 million US dollars as grant for housing, heritage, education and health sectors and 750 million US dollars as line of credit. Under the health sector grant of 50 million US dollars, 132 health facilities are being undertaken in 10 earthquake-affected districts of Nepal. The likely completion time of all health facilities is by December 2023. The district hospital at Gulmi is the biggest hospital project to be built under the present grant. <laughs> Once completed, these earthquake resilient structures will provide access to quality health care services in safe environment to millions of people, including those living in the remotest locations in Nepal, besides creating employment opportunities for thousands of medical professionals. These health care sector reconstruction projects will emerge as another landmark in the India-Nepal Cooperation and Development Partnership. Ladies and gentlemen, now we have the exchange of four documents signed between India and Nepal. For the first, I request Mr. Devendra Karki, the Energy Secretary of Nepal, to hand over the signed copy of the Framework Agreement of the International Solar Alliance to Dr. Ajay Mathur, Director General of the, Indian, of the International Solar Alliance, the ISA. We welcome Nepal's entry into the International Solar Alliance. The second is the exchange of MOUs on enhancing technical cooperation in the railway sector between Mr. Rabindranath Shrestha, Secretary, Ministry of Physical Infrastructure and Transport from the Government of Nepal and Shri V.K. Tripathi, Chairman, Indian Railway Board.
third is the exchange of agreement on supply of petroleum products between Sri Srikant Madhav Vaidya, Chairman Indian Oil Corporation Limited, IOCL, and Dr. Ganesh Prasad Pandey, Chairman Nepal, Nepal Oil Corporation, NOC. The fourth is the exchange of agreement for sharing of technical expertise also between the IOCL and the NOC. <laughs> Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the project inauguration and the exchange of agreements ceremony. I now request the spokesperson of the Ministry of External Affairs to conduct the proceedings. Your Excellency, Prime Minister Sher Bahadur Devbaji, distinguished delegates, media ke sathi, namaskar. Pradhan Mantri Devbaji ka Bharat mein swagat karte huye, mujhe bhaot prasanata ho rahi hai. Aaj Bharatiya Navavarsh और नवरात्रि के पवित्र अवसर पर देवबाजी का शुभ आगमन हुआ है मैं उनको और भा, और भारत और नेपाल के सभी नागरिकों को नवरात्र की बहुत-बहुत शुभकामनाएं देता हूं देवबाजी भारत के पुराने मित्र हैं प्रधानमंत्री के रूप में यह उनकी पांचवी भारत यात्रा है भारत नेपाल संबंधों के विकास में देवबाजी की महत्वपूर्ण भूमिका रही है फ्रेंड्स भारत और नेपाल की दोस्ती हमारे लोगों के आपसी संबंध ऐसी मिसाल विश्व में कहीं और देखने को नहीं मिलती हमारी सभ्यता हमारी संस्कृति हमारे आदान प्रदान के धागे प्राचीन काल से जुड़े हुए हैं अनादि काल से हम एक दूसरे के सुख दुख के साथ ही रहे हैं हमारी पार्टनरशिप के आधार उस आधार में हमारे लोगों के आपसी संबंध उनके बीच आदान प्रदान है यह हमारे संबंधों को ऊर्जा देते हैं संबल देते हैं और नेपाल के संबंध में भारत की नीतियां हमारे प्रयास इसी आत्मीयता की भावना से प्रेरित रहते हैं नेपाल की शांति प्रगति और विकास की यात्रा में भारत एक दृढ़ साथी रहा है और हमेशा रहेगा फ्रेंड्स आज देवबा जी और मेरे बीच इन सब विषयों और कई अन्य महत्वपूर्ण मुद्दों पर भी सार्थक बातचीत हुई हमने अपने सहयोग के विभिन्न पहलुओं पर चर्चा की विभिन्न प्रोजेक्ट्स की प्रगति की समीक्षा की और भविष्य की रूपरेखा पर भी विचार विमर्श किया हम दोनों सहमत हैं कि हमें पावर सेक्टर में सहयोग के अवसरों का पूरा लाभ उठाना चाहिए हमारा जॉइंट विजन स्टेटमेंट ऑन पावर कॉर्पोरेशन भविष्य में सहयोग का ब्लूप्रिंट साबित होगा हमने पंचेश्वर परियोजना में तेज गति से आगे बढ़ने के महत्व पर जोर दिया है यह प्रोजेक्ट इस क्षेत्र के विकास के लिए एक गेम चेंजर सिद्ध होगा हमने भारतीय कंपनियों द्वारा नेपाल के हाइड्रो पावर डेवलपमेंट योजनाओं में और अधिक भागीदारी के विषय पर भी सहमति व्यक्त की यह प्रसन्नता का विषय है कि नेपाल अपने सरप्लस पावर भारत को निर्यात कर रहा है 
इसका नेपाल की आर्थिक प्रगति में अच्छा योगदान रहेगा मुझे बताते हुए हर्ष हो रहा है कि नेपाल से पावर आयात करने के कई और प्रस्तावों को भी स्वीकृत किया जा रहा है मुझे इस बात की प्रसन्नता है कि नेपाल इंटरनेशनल सोलर अलायंस का सदस्य बन गया है इससे हमारे क्षेत्र में सस्टेनेबल एफोर्डेबल और क्लीन एनर्जी को बढ़ावा मिलेगा फ्रेंड्स प्रधानमंत्री देवबा जी और मैंने व्यापार और सभी प्रकार से क्रॉस बॉर्डर कनेक्टिविटी उस इनिशिएटिव्स को प्राथमिकता देने पर भी सहमति जताई जयनगर कुर्था रेल लाइन की शुरुआत इसी का एक भाग है दोनों देशों के लोगों के बीच सुगम बाधा रहित आदान प्रदान के लिए ऐसी योजनाएं बेहतरीन योगदान देगी नेपाल में रूपे कार्ड की शुरुआत हमारी फाइनेंशियल कनेक्टिविटी में एक नया अध्याय जोड़ेगी अन्य प्रोजेक्ट्स जैसे नेपाल पुलिस एकेडमी नेपाल गंज में इंटीग्रेटेड चेक पोस्ट रामायण सर्किट आदि भी दोनों देशों को और करीब लाएंगे फ्रेंड्स भारत और नेपाल के ओपन बॉर्डर्स का अवांछित तत्वों द्वारा दुरुपयोग न किया जाए इस पर भी आज हमने चर्चा की अपनी डिफेंस और सिक्योरिटी संस्थाओं के बीच गहन सहयोग बनाए रखने पर भी हमने बल दिया मुझे विश्वास है कि आज की हमारी बातचीत भारत नेपाल संबंधों के भविष्य के लिए महत्वाकांक्षी लक्ष्य निर्धारित करने के लिए कारगर सिद्ध होगी देवा जी आप कल काशी में होंगे नेपाल और बनारस का सदियों पुराना संबंध रहा है मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि काशी के नए स्वरूप को देखकर आप जरूर प्रभावित होंगे एक बार फिर आपका और आपके प्रतिनिधि मंडल का भारत में स्वागत है बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आई थैंक यू प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री मोदी जी फॉर योर काइंड वर्ड्स आई एम ट्रस्ट बाय वार्म वेलकम एंड द जेनरस हॉस्पिटैलिटी एक्सटेंडेड टू मी एंड माय डेलीगेशन आई रिकॉल योर लैंडमार्क फर्स्ट विजिट टू नेपाल इन ट्वेंटी एंड अदर सब्सिक्वेंट विजिट्स विच आर हेल्प्ड नर्चर बॉन्ड ऑफ फ्रेंडशिप एंड कोऑपरेशन between our two countries i truly admire your love and affection to nepal and nepali people and my visit today will further reinforce this innate sentiment this is first this is my fifth visit to india as a prime minister of nepal this time i am particularly delighted to visit india in a special year with azadi ka amrit mahotsav is being observed and we are also celebrating 75th year of formalization of nepal india diplomatic relations i admire the progress that india is making under the visionary leadership of shri modi ji we have been i i, I we have been <coughs> india's effective management battling covid-19 I received first vaccine assistance from India, as well as medicine, medical equipment, and logistic combat logistics to combat COVID pandemic. For which I thank Prime Minister Modi ji and government of India. As Prime Minister Modi ji, friendly talk and fruitful discussion. on various aspect of india nepal relations and shared our perspective on further strengthening our friendly ties with forward looking approaches separately as we had delegation level talk where we took a broad overview of our relations in all dimensions political economic and social development matters <coughs> India and Nepal share is age-old, time-tested 
multi multidimensional ties that covers all spheres of our interaction with shared democratic values, cultural ethos, and civilization linkages, and similar ambition in inclusive development. The relations between our two countries have been widened and deepened with passage of time. These lessons have been enriched by close people-to-people -people contact. For Nepal, lessons with India are highly important. We look upon the tremendous economic transformations, transformation that India has achieved. We are eager to benefit from India's progress through mutually benefic benefic beneficial economic partnership. Consequently, uh, consequently, I remind an important part of our discussion. I and Prime Minister Modi joined the flag of the inauguration of passenger service between Jainagar to Kolta rail link today, which we constructed under which we which, which was constructed under the generous assistance of India. We also discussed about the building of integrated check post and dry port in Chaldari, Dodhara, agreed to an early completion of the ongoing work on ICP Nepal Gans. I requested India for early commit commencement of construction of ICP in Bhairava. We also witnessed exchanges of MOU on technical cooperation in the railway sectors. We both are confident that further connectivity project, road, railway, and gain further momentum. Likewise, we have discussed cooperation in civil aviation. We have discussed Nepal's request. Additional air entry route to Nepal through Mayanagar, Nepal, and Janapur. I also requested for concurrence of near border flight operation to supply operational lines Gautam Buddha International Airport in Bhairwa. A few weeks ago, India and Nepal signed two MOU on construction of motorable bridge for Darchula, uh, Nepal to Darchula, India, over Mahakali River and other and other supply and under on supply urea DAP from India to Nepal on government to government basis. Our two sides are working on the early delivery of hundreds of 50,000 metric tons of chemical fertilizer before planting regional, plant, planting regional start. Bilateral trade between our two countries growing, discussed the way of toward this use trade deficit. <clears throat> In view of the Nepal's high potential for hydroelectricity generation and export, it, it is important to have broad understanding in power export cooperation between our two countries. So cross-border power trade rem remains a priority agenda during the discussion. I am happy that Nepal-India joined vision statement for power sector cooperation that we are agreed upon today the mutual beneficial cooperation on hydroelectricity generation transmission plus border ah, plus plus border ah. I I welcome Prime Minister Modi's offer to purchasing the electricity from Nepal. Ah. We agreed to to conclude revised transit treaty which will facilitate operational real cargo transit, trans, transit with private sector and inland waterways across the regional port. We, we also launched today operational rupee card in Nepal that will help to promote the follow of Indian tourists in Nepal. Water resources remains an important area cooperation between our two countries for mutual benefit. Prime Minister Modi and I discussed various aspects of cooperation in water resources, 
irradiation and flood control in power sectors. We jointly inaugurated today 90 kilometers long, 120 KBDC solo, solo corridor transmission line project built under the Indian line of credit. We discussed about early completion of GPR Panjeshwar multipurpose project, which would be milestone of Nepal-India cooperation hydropower development. <coughs> India's cooperation has been vital in Nepal, Nepal's health sector as well. I appreciate Prime Minister Modi's assistance for provide India for India to address COVID-19 pandemic, including vaccine, medical supplies, and liquid oxygen. <coughs> Our discussion also co covered upgrading the GP Kualala National Center for Respiratory Diseases in Nepal into GP Kualala National Institute of Health Sciences. I extend my sincere appreciation to the Government of India for substantial support in our reconstruction efforts. We are witnessed the pro progress in constructing 132 health posts in 10 districts of Nepal being constructed of Indian grant assistance. And, uh, <coughs> And I just, Prime Minister Modi ji assured me that uh, from Jogbani to Miratal there will be a uh, line, the line and the other areas also will be uh, helped by India. Thank you very much. Uh, and, uh, uh, both, uh, both of us agreed that uh, Exchange of a high level visit should be regular. It helps promote mutual understanding visit uh, uh, confidence. I have invited Modi ji for the visit of Nepal. We are eagerly look forward welcoming Prime Minister Modi ji. As Modi ji uh, told, told, told me that we have also heard that Banaras is a very uh, religious place for Hindus. Nepali people also they love to. Uh, once in the lifetime, visit to Banaras, visit to Vishwanath, and uh, uh, even people in Nepal, they, they used to, Kashi Bas, they used to Kashi Bas before they die. They want to, to die, criminate, criminate Kashi. Therefore, we have heard that you have made it very uh, helpful, beautiful, and uh, there was, now I have heard that water also clean, Ganga, Ganga. Oh, very clean. Thank you very, very much, Your Excellency. That will I definitely will be uh, uh, grateful that we will also would like to visit Banar, Vishwanath, Mandir, and we are very much helpful for this also, for your kind remarks, uh, Excellency. Uh, uh, in earthquake also, time India helped to build many buildings I, I have seen there. Thank you for this also. There are still, there are projects, still, still there are some, some problems. We would like to request you that to build more uh, houses there. And uh, it's, I would like to speak now that we discuss the boundary issues. And I urged Modi to resolve through the establishment and a bilateral mechanism. Thank you very much, Excellency. Thank you, Excellency. That concludes our press statements. Thank you for joining us, and please remain seated as the two leaders leave the room.